Hello! Today we will build the soldiers of my kit on the Tamiya 135 scale M5A1 light tank pursuit operation set. The first thing to do is to assemble the soldiers there. Right now, let's start building the, the gunner, or you can say the commander of the tank. is the motor we will assemble it right away and then we will assemble now the radio let's assemble the osuka Let's assemble the loader from the mortar. And now we assemble the mortar man. Time to assemble the radio operator. We use poster black and white to paint the outlines of the eyes and the eyeballs of the soldiers, which later on we will apply a flesh paint on it. I use flat flesh from Tamiya to paint the faces, arms, and the hands of the soldiers. I mix them together in a thin coat of water and start applying it thinly over the exposed parts of the body. I do this for all the figures and apply two coats each of them. Sometimes I'll apply three coats so that they will conform. I use burnt umber and burnt sienna and mix them together to create a reddish brown. This gives a leathery feel and look of the paint, which I will apply on the boots of each of the figures, which I use to paint on the wooden details of the submachine gun and others. Next, I use the XF-49 khaki to paint the belt of the soldiers and later on to paint their water canister. Give them a little mix for about 30 seconds so that the paint will be established a right concoction that using my fine brush tip of my brush, I paint the belt carefully. And I use golden paint to paint their belt buckles. Now I use dark green color to paint the pants and the uniform of the figures, as well as their shovels. And now I use an olive drab for the jacket of the gunner and the helmet of the figurines.
I also use the olive drop to paint the bazooka, the radio, and the mortar, as well as other components that you can find in the kit. Now, with steady handing, I paint the edges of the visors of the gunner with black and light blue for their lens. I also use the black paint to paint the details from the radio as well as the telephone lay earlier on. There is an amount of concentration in order to paint the details of the visor. If ever there is an overlap color from the red edges, I will repaint it again with black. Then I apply brown over the leather strap of the headgear of the soldier, as well as some details like the handle from the mortar and the radio. Next, I use the gunmetal paint and apply the parts with the gunmetal color is needed, such as the mortar shells and the guns. It's time to assemble the whole kit together, starting from the paraphernalia of the soldier. After assembling the paraphernalia and other small finishing touches, the whole kit is done. And that's the Tamiya 135 scale M5A1 light tank fursuit operation set. I hope you enjoy guys this video. Don't forget to subscribe, give a like, share to your friends so that they will see more about the contents that I make. As always, take care and stay safe.